All right, a little bit of background context before we get into the meat and potatoes of this thing. We're going to be watching a clip from Mark Cuban, and he's going to be talking a little bit about X, not in a good way, and then briefly touching on some of the other social media companies and what he thinks about it in a rather clownish way. We'll get into that when we get there. Anyways, for a little bit of context on this clip and the Mark Cuban environment over the last couple of months, this was originally recorded four-ish months ago, I believe. Since then, Mark Cuban has been absolutely destroyed on Twitter. There was a scene between him and Elon Musk where Elon Musk effectively called him out for being racist because of his interpretation of diversity, equity, and inclusion policies and the way he implements those policies in his businesses, effectively having preferential treatment towards non-white people. And then a bunch of other people on Twitter jumped on the dog pile, pointing out that Mark Cuban is in fact racist. So over the last few months, Mark Cuban has talked a lot of smack about X, and a lot of people on X talk smack about him because he's acting like a tool, he's irrational, and he's kind of racist. But why don't we watch these clips and I'll talk a little bit more about that. X is just such a cesspool now, right? Shit show. It's a shithole, right? You yeah. can't you can't win no matter what. Everything like less and less and less less time. Elon fucked that shit up, right? Badly. He, he fucked that shit up. But you know, Instagram still chill, TikTok still chill, and there's other places, right, that aren't so bad where you can mess with people and have fun. Um, but you just can't do it on on Twitter. That this X conversation is is important because, you know, as the conversation around like real radical free speech continues to like carry on here. I mean, that's kind of what you have there. Okay, so X is not the perfect application, but it is the only application where you can say exactly what you want to say, exactly how you feel. I mean, there are some limitations. You can't threaten a person or use legitimate hate speech, but you're allowed to say things you aren't allowed to say on most social media platforms because all these social media platforms censor people. So to be able to have a platform where you can genuinely speak your mind is a great tool and is the whole point of the First Amendment, the right to say how you feel about things. Mark Cuban is effectively saying, my thoughts and ideas are only rational and valid when other people can't oppose them. When there is censorship and there's no free speech, my ideas are right. Which is just simply not true, and which is why Mark Cuban got absolutely reamed on X after he made the posts that he made. Diversity, equity, and inclusion sounds great, but in application is effectively racist. Diversity of thought is what should be advocated for, not diversity just for the sake of the color of your skin. There shouldn't be quotas just because of the color of your skin. You shouldn't get preferential treatment just because of the color of your skin. Saying that Elon Musk effed up Twitter is absolutely ludicrous. He actually allowed people to have a platform to speak freely. If anything, Elon Musk is a damn hero. Also, why is he talking like such a tool in this? Now, I don't know if he always sounds like this. He seems usually pretty fine when I've watched him on Shark Tank in the past. Usually don't have a problem with him there. But recently, after seeing some of the stuff on Twitter and watching him in this clip, he sounds like such a tool. TikTok is pretty chill. Instagram's pretty chill. I could mess around with people on Instagram, but Elon Musk fucked up Twitter, dog. Overall, I feel like this just makes Mark Cuban look worse than he already does. But what are your thoughts on that? Let me know in the comments. And let's take a look at an older clip of Mark Cuban talking about how X is now a far right platform and how Joe Biden, if he had 200 million followers, it would be a far left platform is defined that the person with so if Mendel or Mark or Joe Biden, let's just say Joe Biden had 200 million Twitter followers, you would see much more left and progressive content than what we see today. Now, if, if let's just and if Elon extracted himself out of the algorithm, which is one of the things I suggested to him, you would see totally different content in your for you. It would just be night and day different because that's the way the algorithm works. So I'm not saying that that there aren't crazy shit that happens in the real world, but Twitter is not real world. You know, 27% of adults are on Twitter, some small percentage of that post, and a tiny percentage of that post a lot, right? And so I, my opinion, I don't have data for this, is that I think the people who lean far right post a lot more and because they feel welcome. Where else can they do it? 4chan or 8chan, whatever it is now? How many places? Reddit, maybe a little bit, but they have much more you know, control there. 
it, it's become a home for it. Why wouldn't you go to Twitter to do it? Okay, first and foremost, Joe Biden doesn't even tweet his own tweets, so there's no way he could even get 200 million followers. In addition to that, I see a lot of a lot of progressive people on Twitter, a lot of progressive posts, progressive, the progressives, lol. I think it's funny that the progressives call themselves progressive when in actuality they're regressive, but let's talk about that in another video. I'm pretty deep in conservative politics, and I still get a lot of progressive stuff in my feed very, very frequently. It's just that the far right is now actually able to say things and that they actually have a platform to say things. And he mentions that this is the place for us to go. So it might feel like, you know, we're kind of owning the conversation, but really it's just the only place we can have a conversation. Between these two clips, to me, it sounds like Mark Cuban doesn't actually want free speech. He just wants people to believe what he believes. And nothing more. Is that your takeaway from both of these clips? Let me know in the comments. My name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.